Hello everyone and thank you for choosing NG Preparations to study for your IB exams and assignments. Today we're going to look at linear demand and supply functions and how we can graph that. This is an HL only topic. Now if you wanted to graph the demand curve, we can write it as any other linear equation as y equals c plus mx. In this case we're going to write the equation as quantity demanded is equal to a minus bp. b is the slope, p represents price, and a is the intercept. a represents the quantity demanded that would be demanded if the price of the good were zero. So whenever there's a new value of a, there's a new value for the horizontal intercept, then we would basically be shifting the demand curve. So let's say we got the equation quantity demanded is equal to 15 minus 5p. So the slope is 5, meaning that for every one unit increase in price, there will be a 5 unit decrease in the quantity demanded. How would we graph this? Well, we know that the horizontal intercept is 15, and we also know that the slope is 5. So we can plot the point 15, 0, and we know that when price increases from 0 to 1, there will be a 5 unit decrease in quantity demanded, so we'll be moving from 5, 15 to 10. So then our new point is 10, 1, and then in the same way, 5, 2, 0, 3. So really, we can plot a demand curve by just finding the horizontal intercept, or A, and then finding the y-intercept, or when quantity demanded is equal to 0. And by graphing these two points, we can then find the linear demand curve. But what if there's a change in the a value? How will that change the demand curve? So what if suddenly we go from the equation being quantity demanded is equal to 15 minus 5p to quantity demanded is equal to 10 equals 5p? Well, we've suddenly changed the horizontal intercepts from 15 to 10. And we can also know that the price at which quantity demanded will equal 0 is when price is equal to 2 because 10 minus 5 times 2 is equal to 0. We have that the vertical intercept is 2 and the horizontal intercept is 10. So graphing that demand curve next to our original demand curve, we can immediately tell that there's been a shift to the left of the demand curve. So now you get the idea that when the A value decreases, then that means that there has been a shift to the left of the demand curve. And if the A value increases, then there's a shift to the right of the demand curve. But what if the slope changes? What if the B value changes? Well, initially we had the equation that Quantity demanded is equal to 15 minus 5p. What if now the equation changes to quantity demanded is equal to 15 minus 10p? Well, our horizontal intercept is still 15, but for every one unit increase in price, there will be a 10 unit decrease in quantity demanded. So when price is one instead of zero, the quantity demanded is actually five. Plotting these two points, we get the sense that when the absolute value of b increases, the demand curve becomes flatter. The last thing I want to add on this demand section is mentioning a common mistake that students often make. When a paper 3 question asks you what the slope of a demand function is, and it gives it to you in the form a minus bp, the slope is negative b. It is not just b. The slope for a demand curve is always negative because the demand curve is downward sloping. So make sure to write negative b, not b. Now let's move on to the supply function. So the supply function can be written as quantity supplied is equal to C plus DP, where C is the horizontal intercept, D is the slope, and P is price. Now note that unlike the quantity demanded function, the slope is positive. This is because the supply function is upward sloping, unlike the demand curve. But what if we got the equation that quantity supplied is equal to negative 5 plus 10b? Well, negative 5 is a quantity that would be supplied if price is 0. So when price is 0, quantity supplied is negative 5. And now the next step is to find the value of price when quantity supplied is equal to 0. Well, we know that 1 half times 10 is 5, and negative 5 plus 5 is 0, so we can say that when quantity supplied is equal to 0, price is 1 half. So we have the vertical intercept, and we know that the horizontal intercept is negative 5, so it's negative. So let's instead look at the slope. So if our vertical intercept is at 0, 1 half, and for every 1 unit increase in price, there's going to be a 10 unit increase in quantity supplied, then we can say that the next point that we're going to plot is 
10 and 1 and a half. And then we connect these two points and we actually get the linear supply curve. Okay, now let's look at another example. So let's say our equation is quantity supplied is equal to negative 10 plus 10p. So when price is equal to zero, the quantity supplied is negative 10. And when quantity supplied is zero, the price is one. So we already have our two points. We know that at quantity zero, price is one. So we have the point zero one. And we also know that the slope is 10. So when price is one unit higher, quantity supplied is 10 units higher. So our second point is 10, two. So now we've plotted this supply curve. But what if our slope changes from 10 to 5? And now we have the equation negative 10 plus 5p. Well, now when quantity supplied is equal to 0, price is actually 2 because 5 times 2 is 10, and negative 10 plus 10 is 0. But the quantity supplied when price is 0 is still negative 10. So we have the point 0, 2, and we know that the slope is 5. So for one unit increase in price, we have a five unit increase in quantity. So our next point is actually five, three, and our next point is 10, four. Now we have seen how a change in the slope has actually changed the vertical intercept of our curve, and it has also made our second curve steeper. So just like we saw with the demand curve, the smaller the coefficient of P, the steeper the demand or supply curve. Now let's try some paper three questions that might come up related to demand and supply functions. So what if we got these two equations saying quantity demanded and quantity supply, and we had to find the equilibrium quantity and price? Well, in equilibrium, quantity supply is exactly quantity demanded. The market clears. We could just equal the quantity demanded equation to the quantity supply equation and find price. To find quantity, we would just input the price that we found into any of the two equations. It doesn't matter if I put in the price of one half to quantity demanded or to quantity supplied because price and quantity should be the same for both supply and quantity in equilibrium. There are also paper three questions that will give you a certain price and ask you to find the excess demand or supply at that given price. In other words, we're not looking at equilibrium, we're looking at a situation where either demand or supply is greater. So at a price of two, we would input two instead of price in both the quantity demand function and the quantity supply function and find the quantity of both. Here we found that quantity demanded is five, whereas quantity supplied is 35. Obviously, because quantity supply is greater than quantity demanded, we have excess supply of 35 minus five or 30. In other words, we have a surplus. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to NG Preparation to keep getting updates and tips on how you can improve your IB grades.